Kolkata Knight Riders versus the Mumbai Indians at the Eden Gardens. Probably the best surface in terms of the ball coming on to bat. I don't mm. believe that a good surface is only a good batting surface. But this one, the ball really comes on. And I was talking to Kuldeep Yadav. He said he doesn't mind bowling on it either because there's a bit of bounce, bounce on it from yeah. the spinner. Yeah, yeah well, for Narayan and Kuldeep, I think that's, that's one of the keys. They'll get some bounce. Um, the same will apply for the Mumbai spinners. The cutters that, that we see from uh, Mitch McLennigan, not as useful, I don't think, yes. in, uh, in Kolkata. The cutters and cutter, not so good. Uh, Boomer again, the slower spin, balls yeah. will, will just come onto the bat a little bit nicer. So the pace of the likes of Andre Russell, Marvi not fit again. I don't no, think. Like, but the, what about yeah, Russell? Russell's not bowling four either. No, he's not. He's not fit. He's just not yeah. fit. He's not fit. So so that's a bit of a worry. I mean, when you know when those guys aren't fit. It's a, it's about the pace. It's what they need, I think, in that in that cut so track. They've got to get Prasid Krishna playing, and he's been picked mm. for the India, uh, India yeah, A yeah, side. So that's yes, good news yeah. for him. Mm. No, so he's he's a decent bowler. I don't think Prasid Krishna will be there. The issue is that exactly the two of their biggest stars, Chris Lynn and Andre Russell, are not hundred percent. That's a big problem, and it's it's a fact that even. Sunil Narayan hasn't been, he was off in the mm. last game, in fact that's why he batted down the order, that was the reason for the change. So that's the problem, KKR just don't have bench strength, that's mm. the significant problem, otherwise this 11 could, could, could put up something. It's a bit like Rajasthan Royals, not enough bench strength, but mm. you're right, not enough bench strength and they're, and they're losing players to injury. So we were just talking uh, off, off, uh, off before the program started. I think with the resources they have, they've done all right. Whether or yeah. not they should have given themselves those resources, a different story. That's a different story. I but agree. with the resources they have, they've, yeah. they've done all right. Oh, they've been fantastic. But, but you push Sunil Narayan back up against Mumbai. Uh, Shubham Gill back at court, Rana five, not, six. Yeah, look, possibly. Yeah, they haven't got anyone that's going to knock him up, knock him over, or, or get mm. too short and too quick to him. Maybe Bumrah with that angle might hurry him up early on, but um, you, you might push him back to the top. Give them that start. The one thing that has happened very, very good for, or very well for Col Kolkata is that DK, Dinesh Karthik, has finished games off for them brilliantly. Yeah. So if they're in a chasing situation and they're needing 35 off three, 40 off three, he's the man that's finished things off for them beautifully. So yeah. I, I don't see any changes unless the likes of Russell or maybe Mitchell Johnson and um, Tom Curran. Tom Curran. Tom. I just, I'm not sure. I'd like to see Curran back into that lineup, I think, but whether they'll go that way or not. Well, if, if, Russell, if Russell can give you two or three overs, it just changes the balance completely. Mm. But I wouldn't be surprised if Sunil Narayan goes up there. Shubman Gill comes back to four, Rana five, Karthik six, or Karthik five, Rana six, mm. and Russell seven, because Rana's in good form. Yeah. And every time I meet Robin Uthapa, I tell Robin Uthapa, why do you love these 30s? So he said, no, I'm going to get a big score. He gave a 50. He is batting as well as anybody else in the IPL, but he's doing 30s and 40s. So if he just gets in and converts that to an 80, then KKR are looking at a different yeah, side. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why I call him the kitty party player this year. Late 30s, early 40s. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so he's a kitty party player. And he's is that just, what you think? Yeah, he's just, People in the late 30s and yeah, 40s. Well, you talk only of women because yeah. you've got to be careful. Politically correct these days. It's a kitty party. Sacked. It's not a cat party. It's a kitty party. <laughs> oh dear, he's getting braver by the day. <laughs> I'm getting braver by the day. Yeah. But that's my point. If he bats deep, that's where they have an advantage. If he bats deep, he hasn't so far. I think 50 was his best score, which was last match. Mm. And again, he was looking fantastic before he got out. Tom Curran, I, my sense is that Mitchell Johnson is probably the bowling captain of the team. And somehow they, they feel that if he's there on the field, he's also shepherding the young bowlers better. Mm. But I still think that's not enough reason for them not to play Tom Curran. What are Mumbai Indians? You know, they like, as, as soon as their back nudges the wall, they become a different side. Yeah. Yeah. They won three of their last four. And won both the last two games, I think. Yeah, they've been uh, they've been a lot better, haven't they? And they've, they've found a, a combination, I think, that is working for them. Obviously, Pollard in for one game uh, when Evan Lewis was was out injured, but Evan Lewis back and now Pollard out. They've got Cutting, uh, Krunal Pandya, Hardik Pandya, J JP Dumini into that side still mm. hasn't done enough yet, but. He offers a lot in the group, I think, and that's what we talked about last time I was on. That getting Ben Cutting and JP Dumini into the side, you're just getting you're just getting enthusiastic characters into that side. So you're bringing about an opportunity to lift the spirit of the team. Surya Kumar Yadav has say, been outstanding. Yeah, yeah go on. Uh, and then just they need runs from Evan Lewis. Ishan Kishan has gone off the boil a little bit, hasn't he? Yes. After a very good start to the tournament, uh, and then number four that should be number one, but might bet number four for <laughs> India is, uh, is absolutely brilliant. So, Do you <laughs> think they might turn around and say, you know what, Dumini is not giving us overs. We've got cutting down at eight. 
we've given a little injection to Kyron Pollard. Mm. Let's see how hungry he is and get him back in, you think? Well, the attitude I saw when he wasn't playing, I don't think to me was quite good enough to warrant back in, being back in that side. Uh, I, I'd love to have seen him more enthusiastic on the bench, and that, that would be one of the keys for me, to have him up and about and high-fiving even when, the, when he's not playing, when the team's winning. And that would show me that he is all about team as much as is about Corin Pollard. So, look, that may be harsh on him. I, I don't know whether he was slightly injured, slightly niggled, but he just sat in that chair when they won and didn't really do much apart from, oh, well done, boys, when, when they won a game. And that, to me, just wasn't enough to say, no, you deserve to be back in that side on yeah. attitude alone. The other person who's just gone off the boil a wee bit, a wee bit is a very Kiwi expression, right? a wee bit, is Mike Mark I know he's got a mm. lot of wickets. So that begs the question, uh, am I just playing a bowler short maybe? So if you look down their lineup again, let's it, just wonder if they're playing a bowler short. That, that's so why they've, got, they've got Bumrah, they've got McLenahan, they've got Hardik Pandya who's really risen as a bowler. Mm. Uh, Krunal Pandya some days gives you, gives you four. Then you've got Ben Cutting. Mike Markande, so on paper it looks like they've got six, but cutting's been expensive. But been expensive, yeah, you're right. They have the options of bowlers, but not the, all their bowlers are firing. See, if it's a, if they're left-hander in, they'll throw Dumini at him. Mm. Mm. So they'll throw Dumini and just try and get a couple of overs out. So somehow they don't have faith in cutting's bowling, and it's just not doing it's enough. A, and it's obvious, yes. And it's, it's, you know, captains have that thing. There's some bowlers that you just throw the ball to, you don't, you know, you just don't have that faith. He needs to have, I mean, they need to have more faith in him as a bowler and as a finisher because he is one of the hardest hitters in the international circuit.